Hello, you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. If this is your first time here and you'd like to see more of this sort of stuff, start now by subscribing and click on the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, here we go. Okay, so you're very welcome to Jerry's DIY. This is my burner from yesterday. Um, it's a waste oil burner. It works really, really well. I fired it in the stove last night and it was fantastic. So what I want to do is I want to try something different with it. Normally these things don't live outside a uh, you know two-chambered um, boiler, that sort of thing, or a burner, stove, cooker, whatever. Um, but in this instance, I'm going to provide it with forced air. It's not getting an updraft um, airflow like it does inside my stove. It's just getting you know forced air. Now I've got a camper fa fan, you know, like um, a 12 volt camper fan, and I'm providing you know air. It's kind of a mattress inflator, small little thing, uh, 12 volt. I'll show you in a minute. But um, there's a flexi hose going into the bottom of this and providing this with air. Now, uh, I have an oil line, a drip feed oil line. However, there was oil in the pipe and it dribbled into the, um, into the base of this. So I don't know how it's going to work um, or if it'll even ignite. But we'll see now. Now, these things can be notoriously hard to ignite, you know, get, get them started because they work on a vaporizing principle and your unit needs to be red hot to vaporize the, the oil. Uh, however, and there's a 10 mile an hour wind coming this way, so it's not in my favour at the minute. But if I can get this fire lighter, uh, my turbo torch is out of gas. I'm going to make something for a refilling bed. I uh, might get to that today. So if I can get this lit, I'd be amazed. Doesn't want to light out here in the wind. Let's try it in here. Okay, so we'll just give them a chance to do something. There is some oil in the base of the pan. That wasn't intentional, but as it's there, I have to burn it. So I'm just going to give it some kerosene um, without putting out the flames to see if I can get it to vaporize. So you can see it's smoky, it's not getting the correct air fuel mix. I'm going to try and remedy that now. how good my setup is and yet it still wants to work. That's my two piece unit I made yesterday. It's, it's, uh, it's working really well. And not that much smoke out of it. Now, given that I'm not controlling the air, it's getting air from the atmosphere, it's uh, getting air from the unit, and it's not red hot either. You know, so it, it's doing well. Okay, so this is a bouncy castle fan. It's much quieter than the other one. Look at the difference in the, um, in the unit. You know what, that's some serious heat, I can feel it from here. Um, and you know, as I say, I've got a 10 mile an hour wind going by me, and this thing is just hammering out heat. So it's getting, uh, you know, lots and lots of air. Uh, it's got quite a bit of fuel in it. Uh, very hard for me to regulate the fuel because I don't have a proper drip feed system in. I just came out to give this a shot. I didn't really come out to give it a, a full on test. But you know what, I'm going to make some sort of a foundry out of it because it's just so powerful. It really is. And so easy to make. Uh, I made this burner unit in an hour and a half yesterday and it was very very easy to make just a little bit of welding uh, if you really had to and couldn't weld it I, you know there are ways of doing it that you could bolt something together and, and make this work okay so there you go you can see the orange fan down on the floor there uh, it's out of a bouncy castle and it, it's working fantastic you know I, I didn't make a proper reducer setup or anything for, for the uh, actual vacuum cleaner hose all I did was just masking tape or duct tape anyway look very successful test run of this unit. Um, it's my indoor unit. I only made it yesterday. It's working great. Fantastic little setup. And uh, I'll tweak it a little bit more. I have a couple of tiny things to do with it, but it, it, in the stove it's working really well. And I may end up using it in a foundry or something as well, or something like it. So look, it's raining now. I let some oil go into this by accident. You know, I hit the lever valve and it poured in. So uh, I didn't catch it in time. Um, so now I have to wait for this to burn off. It's kind of a reservoir of oil. It's just burning away. There's no more oil coming in, but a uh, certain heat coming out. So when that burns out, um, I switch everything off. I have to get my lawnmower back into the shed because it's a big yoke. It's a big thing. It gets in the way. Um, but anyway, it's raining now, so I'm going in. I'll watch this from the house. Okay. See you later. Okay, so there you go. A very successful test of my waste oil burner. I didn't intend making it as an outdoor unit, but uh, I've been planning on giving something like this a try for a while so you know I just I had a few minutes spare today and I decided I'd give it a shot 
but look at it it's ripping along if that was inside the boundary and also like i've got you know 10 15 mile an hour winds coming down between the house and the shed and uh, it's still working great <laughs> i can feel the heat from here you know and i'm a good four or five feet away okay so look if you like the video please thumbs up subscribe down here if you've been here before with me thanks very much i really appreciate the support uh, the channel is beginning to grow now which is fantastic and uh, thank you very much all of you um okay so look i'll finish it there i'll see you all in the next video bye for now good luck